Good morning, everyone. Lucy here for the Scrapbook Cottage. Going to uh, show you how to make this eight by eight album. Um, I use the Simple Stories Remember paper. It's gorgeous paper. It, um, it's, it's good for uh, remembering someone who's passed away but it also is great for just remembering memories. I'm going to walk you through it very quickly to show you and then we'll get started. So the front cover inside just has a pocket. And then we go to the first signature and it has a large flap going up. A large flap going right and a large flap going left. I have indicated to you the kinds of pictures you could put in. You don't have to follow this though. It's your book. When we close everything I have put a flap, smaller flaps going left and right and they are stuck together by a magnet. Inside, inside the pocket on the side, we have another area for you to put pictures on both sides if you wish. If you don't have enough pictures, then you just leave this part out. On the back, we have a large flap going left and then a little booklet you can put four close to four by six pictures in. The next signature we have a waterfall that opens by pulling the bottom tab. Under it is a another large flap and a pocket here to put more pictures or memorabilia. Behind that, we have a small flap and another pocket. Another larger flap to go back and forth. And then we have a little envelope type with a regular type of waterfall for larger pictures for four by sevens. And I've just put um, brads to hold it together. Then we have, has it wasn't closed up properly, here we go. <clears throat> we have a smaller flap going this way and right and then going down with lots of picture spaces. On the last signature we have another little booklet and one page, two pages and <clears throat> here we have a pocket and look what looks like an envelope, but is really just a flap. And lastly, we have a flap here and a belly band. <clears throat> now, I put this flap in thinking, you know, when you put stuff in a belly band, sometimes they flip out. So this holds it down. And that's the book. So it might look difficult, but it really isn't. So we'll get started. I'm going to keep it close so that I don't. Okay. <clears throat> In your packages, you're going to find um, two sheets. You're going to find lots of black paper, but you're going to find two sheets that say cover or one sheet that says cover, but there's two of the same. Okay. What you're going to do is you are going to put <clears throat> about five millimeter tape along the one side. 
one edge, one shorter edge. And you're going to take that off. Well, not off, but we're going to take the paper off. And we're going to adhere them together. Just in that little space. There we go. That makes our, <coughs> pardon me, our cover wrap. Now we're going to take our chipboard and let's just dry, make a dry run here. I think that I'm going to make sure that my spine is these this um, edge here where we joined them. I'm going to make sure it's in the middle of my of my spine. Now, if you want to make sure that your paper, I mean, it's its paper, right? We're gonna be bending it and folding it and all that, but it's still paper. So to make sure that it doesn't, uh, to, to make a little bit more sure that it doesn't break or crack, we're gonna put some Tyvek on here. Now, Tyvek is just simply what actually what they wrap houses with before they put your siding on. Um, it's also what a lot of business envelopes are with. You can't you can't cut it, or you can cut it. Sorry, but you can't rip it. Okay, so we're going to I'm going to adhere this onto the here. Now to do that, I'm going to use Suquang, and I'm just going to be right back. Quang comes in many different sizes. Um, let's see. I'm going to use this size. I'm going to adhere the Suquang all over this piece of Tyvek. There we go. Now, I am going to that out. I could use a straight edge. Um, there we go. Now I still have a little piece that I need to do, so I'm going to use this one. moved everything let's see. here we go here, and I'm just gonna put another one doesn't matter if it's sticking out there we go now I'm going to adhere this to our cover page Or, yeah, Suquang is very, very sticky. So we're going to, where's my, there it is. I'm just going to eyeball. It doesn't matter if this is really not, not uh, straight or not. Nobody's going to know. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply Suquang all over the one side of our chipboard. And I use tape sheets, Suquang sheets. Um, I just find it quicker and easier. So what I do, I'm going to take this out of the way so that I don't get it stuck to that. What I do is I just take a little piece on the side here and there we go. <coughs> oh, 
I told you, it sticks. Okay. Um, I think I'm just, I am going to use, I am going to use my straight edge for this. Um, here we go. I think my straight edge isn't exactly working properly. That worked well enough, I guess. Well, okay. I do have another one. Let's see if the other one works better. Like I said, I'm not a straight edge girl. I'm a scissors. Because I managed to cut myself whenever I pull a knife out. There we go. Now we're going to keep this. I'm not going to, at the price of Sukwang, we're going to just hang on to this. There we go. I think I'll be able to use this on here. And maybe this piece here. And one more. Sure that you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, it should be. should be good. Okay, like this. If you've made albums before, it's always the very, you know, same procedure. next time. Okay, we are ready to put our chipboard onto our cover wrap. So it's going to go on like this and like this and like this. Okay, so we're going to start with our spine because we want to make sure it's, you know, we don't have it here, the join of the, um, of the, of the cardstock. We want to make sure it's centered. And we always want to have an inch above and below. And I, I did a pretty good job of putting this centered. That was pure luck, not. Okay. So our spine is down. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to use this handy dandy tool it's an inch on top and three sixteenths in between, which is exactly what we want to leave 
in between our spine and our cover. Okay. So I'm going to take this off. If you're nervous about putting this down, just take half of it and then snug it up to this tool and then take your paper off. Okay, we're gonna do the same on the other side. Gonna snug our tool there and we're gonna take our paper off. Oh, this doesn't wanna come off there, so we'll try another place. It's not be it's not being very cooperative. Here we go. Okay. So again, if you're not really very sure, take it and snug it up to there and pull it off. There. Now you know that it is that it's even and we've got the right amount in between here to have it fold. Okay? Now <clears throat> we're going to take our 9.5 tape. We're going to adhere tape to every edge. So every edge of this okay. and on top. And also on the edge, I'm not going right to the corner because we have to cut this off at an angle. So I'm just going to go to here. And we put tape on all the way across. Now we're going to do tape along this way. I don't use scissors to cut my suquang. I find it takes way too long. So just find a straight edge that you can use. This is actually for a Cricut, but I find it very useful here. And again, I'm not going to go right to the corner because that would be a waste of playing. Okay, we're going to do this side now. And if you notice, I have, I put my suquang on my wrist. I find it's very, I, I, I like it better there. And I'm not holding it. I have two hands free. And our last corner. Yes, an album takes a lot of suquang. Whoops. All right, we are all suquanged. Now, to put those, to um, make sure that we don't have that we don't have too much paper on the corner because then it wouldn't be good. And we also don't want to cut off too much. So I use this little tool and a pencil and I'm just going to make a line like this. And I'm going to cut that 
along that edge all the way over. And I know that I have the right amount I've taken off because this is all I need. Okay. Oops. <clears throat> and I'm going to do the same here. And the same here. And now I can cut. Oops. going to use my big scissors. You don't have to, but I just find that I only need to cut once then. Make it a little bit better than that. There we go. And I'm going to cut this. And here. very straight here. Let's try that again. There. And this one. There. Now, I, this is the way I do it. I prefer doing this. I take my, my book. I take my book and I fold it over like that. Okay, and I find that it, I make sure that there isn't any extra paper there. <coughs> I do the same on the other side. Okay. And you do the, do the two long sides first. Now, I'm going to pull this up just a bit. All of these because I, I still need them there but I don't I don't want my bottom here to come up against it oh I see I forgot I forgot some tape here <clears throat> it's important to have tape on each of these edges to take these off and I'm going to take this long one off the black paper <clears throat> okay so now I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to fold it down and it's all the way down Oh, let's see, one snuck down on me. There we go. Now we can put these back down for now. I'm going to turn it around, <clears throat> and we're going to do the same on this side. to go to our ends and I do the ends the same way I think you're gonna have trouble seeing that but I fold it the same way okay now <clears throat> before we fold it though we're gonna take our bone folder and see how there's a little bit of paper that's kind of sticking out here we don't want that because that doesn't look very finished so we're gonna push that in we're gonna push that in. Okay. And ooh, now 
now we can take the paper off and I'm going to fold and down. There. Same thing on the other side. We're going to take the bone folder and we're going to push that in a little bit. I'm trying to do it sideways so you can see. It doesn't work so good for me. Here we go. Okay. And the same on this side. I'm going to pull that in. There we go. Paper off. And we're going to fold. There. We're all done. That part. <laughs> now you want to burnish everything nicely. And we're going to set it aside just for a few minutes. You're going to take your um, piece that's called, that has hinge written on it, and we are you are going to. And I've already, um, I believe I did. Yes, I have already scored mine, but I will show you. We are going to score this at, where's my tool, my tool, here it is. So we're going to score this with the 11 inches on top. We're going to score it at one and a half, two and a quarter, sorry, yeah, two and a quarter, three, three and three quarters, Four and a half, five and a quarter, six, six and three quarters, seven. Oh, sorry, sorry, not seven. Seven and a half, eight and a quarter, nine, and nine and three quarters. So we have scored it at every three quarters of an inch. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but that's what it looks like. We are now going to number each space one to 13. So one, two, okay. Numbered them one to 13. And you're going to adhere tape to number two. So you put tape on number two, on number five, on number eight, and on number 11. So you're going to put tape on those. So I'm going to take, it doesn't have to be three quarters of an inch for your tape. I'm going to take this tape, doesn't matter, uh, not quite the middle, but, you know, eh, somewhere in there. On two, on five, it's just, I find it so much easier to number them. So I know I don't have to be counting. I don't have to figure anything out. I can just do it. And on 11. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to fold and I'm going to put two onto three. Okay, so I'm going to fold two so it goes on to three. I'm going to burnish that and I'll fold this one back so that one is back here. 
So what's, what's important is that you've got two onto three. We're going to take the tape off of this, off of number two, and we're just going to fold it down. Okay. It's not, it, it's not going to look like you're doing anything that makes sense for a while if you've never done this. But, uh, okay, so now we're going to do number five onto six. Okay, and we're just going to pull everything else back. So right now you see one, four, seven. Okay, five is taped, six isn't. So we're going to put five onto six. So we're just going to fold five onto six. Okay, we're going to fold eight onto nine. And we're going to pull the rest out this way. So now we see one, four, seven, and ten because we're going to put eight onto nine. Okay. Eleven is going to go on to twelve. So we're going to put <coughs> eleven. Pull this up there. So what you should see now is one, four, seven, ten, and thirteen, because eleven is going to go down onto twelve. Great, we're done. This piece. Okay, let's just. Okay, so what we have on this side <clears throat> is our hinges for our pages. <laughs> okay, and we want to work these so that our pages, you know, because they're going to get flipped back and forth. <clears throat> okay, lots of taping now. We're going to take our tape. And we're going to tape each side of each hinge. And we don't want it right on the very bottom of the hinge. We want it about here, okay? Not at the very bottom. Well, about, what, an eighth of an inch from the, from the edge of the, of the uh, hinge. Okay, and we're going to do that on both sides. Of each hinge. Okay. Problems here. There we go. Okay. All of this. Getting, sorry, getting the uh, cover ready, I find, is what takes the most time. But when you build a house, it's always what you don't see in the finished product that's important, right? If you don't build, if you don't put up a good base... you're in trouble. That's why I use Suquang. Um, I don't get any shares from it. <laughs> Wish I did. Wish I bought shares of it because wow. Okay, what, I'm, what we're going to do now is we are going to miter. So we're going to take and I'm just, I'm not going to miter right to the bottom. Um, you can you can redo some of this, like rejiggle it um, later when you're putting your pages on. Like if you think you need more, then you cut more. Okay. I'm gonna do that on both sides. There. 
now I find these little pieces all over my my house when I'm done this. So now on this, on the back side, here are the hinges. On the back side of the hinges, we want to put, we want to cover it with sucrain. And oh, I find that this roll, now you don't need to buy this roll. A, um, <clears throat> a sheet would be great too. But since I have this roll, I'm just going to use it. Because everything, ah. okay, let's try that again. Everything has to be covered. So, not fun in a way. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think that's pretty close. Even it stuck to me. There. Okay. Now I'm going to cut it. And I need another tiny piece on here, so I'll just use, mm, what have I got here? This probably is too big. Not really. You can put them one on top of the other, it's no big deal. sure that I burnish that really well. And we're going to be putting it here. Okay, so we're going to want to just going to get rid of this. off now I want to make sure you're gonna make sure that you are centered on your spine okay on your spine here and I'm pretty sure that I my that my chipboard piece here is centered with the with the join so I'm going to use the join as my centering so I'm going to make sure that the middle of there's two hinges on this side two on that side I'm going to make sure that the middle piece here is even with the join of my book okay so I'm going to take these off and Going to take the tape off of here. Oh, that's not good. Let's try on this side. Sometimes it just doesn't want to come off, you know. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to take this one off. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I'm centered this way and up and down, right? I don't want to be Okay. So, centered centered left right and going down. Now, if you're afraid, you can always put a mark Mark your pencil with pencil mark here. Uh, it's not my first one that I do, so I'm kind of got it. I, I feel, I guess I just feel more comfortable. It's not that I'm pro at it, at, by all means. Okay, so our hinge is on. Let's take our... <clears throat> going to fold it. There we go. And 
and same on this side. You can tell where it is. Just help it out. There we go. And we have our book done. Oh, well, at the outside of the book done. Okay. Great. That was the hard part, I think. All right. Let me just clean up my space. And <clears throat> we're going to start with our pages. Now, you have four pages. You should have cut out four pages that were seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And four that were seven and three quarters by eight and three quarters. Okay. I have already um, scored all my lines. I didn't tape them, but I've scored everything just to make the, the video go a little bit quicker. Um, if you haven't done that, then pause me score then I can come back to you but since I'm done that I am going to start right away into taping and I like to use the 9 and 9.5 tape Suquang tape it's just about the right size to fit in so oh and I've Come to the end of my roll. Let me pull another one out. I make sure that I am never out of 9.5 tape. It's something that I have all the time. Okay. You probably, well, you've noticed that I use, um, well, you fold burnished tape and miter, pretty much everything. So you'll see some after you've gone after the first page, you're going to see FBTM. That's because I got lazy and I didn't want to type all that. And I figured you knew what F meant, fold, B, burnish. T tape and M miter. So that's what those stand for. So I'm mitering right now, just folding up the corners, cutting out the corners, not folding them. Um, <clears throat> and now I'm going to fold. Doesn't matter really what, what, um, which one you do first just as long as you do them all okay always better to to um, burnish okay, to burnish on the paper side not on your tape um, if you burnish on the tape it may um, it may ruffle or look like you know start to look like bacon and you don't want that okay so i have done all of those i'm now going to attach this seven and three quarters by eight and three quarters to the seven and three quarters so i'm going to just put take this one and put it onto that one okay just on one side that's not going to work. What was I thinking? I don't think I have the right tape. Just hang on here. Yep, yeah, seven and three quarters. Oh, I have to do it on both sides, and I didn't. So let's let's let me show. Yeah, it says to score on both sides, which I didn't do. So let's do it. So I have to go a half inch on this side as well. There 
There we go. Now I need to tape this side as well. There we go. As we did on the other side, we're going to miter We don't want all that extra paper in our fold, that's why we miter. Okay. And we're going to fold and burnish. There we go. Okay, now this is going to fit. We're going to take a seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. We're going to adhere this piece, this onto this side, and then it will fall onto that side. So what we're doing is we're putting the two together. Okay, so. First one is the trickiest, maybe. Um, you know what? I was going to show you what you could do also. Let's just put this back. I was going to show you that you could just take part of your tape off and put it onto here and make sure start with this edge that doesn't have any tape on it and make sure that you're even on all sides and then put this down okay and then we can just pull our tape tape out and it's going to fall down nicely and if this side is nicely then this side is just going to fall onto it like like that This untaped edge right now is nicely in this corner. Okay, and down. And then this side should come down easily as well. out oh where's my tape my tape fell back down let's try this again 
Okay, let's try this again. Black on black is sometimes really hard to see. There we go. One more. time you've done <clears throat> a couple of these they come out pretty easy all right you now have four square pages <clears throat> um, we're going to number those now one to eight so one's on this side two is on the back three four is on the back Five, six on the back, seven, and eight on the back. Okay. We want to make sure that these openings are left and right, not top and bottom, left and right. Okay, so one, two, okay, all have to go left and right because one side the left hand side is going to go onto our hinge and the right hand side will be open and that's for if you want to put another insert in there for extra pictures okay so i'm just going to set those there and i'm going to take the pieces there are three pieces that say page one a and I have scored it on the eight and a quarter at a half. Okay, I'm going to tape each of these. Oh, and I always tape on the valley side now the valley side or the indented side um, not and then we fold it onto the mountain away from the tape okay so unless i tell you you're going to tape on the indented this is indented and we're going to fold it away from here okay unless you're told differently that's the way i do it so you fold so that the tape is outside on the other side. And we're going to miter. are ready to go so we're going to take our page one actually I'm going to take my scoreboard out of the way there so we have page one we made sure that the the openings are left and right not up and down okay we are going to put one of these they're all the same size so it doesn't really matter which which one so we're going to put one on, we're going to attach one on the left, 
and they're not exactly the same size. You're going to find that they're just, you know, 16th of an inch smaller. Don't worry about that. That's the way it should be. Okay. I What I suggest you do is you put it as centered. And if you don't, if, if it's not centered perfectly, don't worry about it. It's, it's not going to show. Okay. Okay, so I like to work like this. Okay, so just remember my opening is here. I'm going to put it here like this. And I'm going to not quite put it in the middle. And like that. Okay, I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to put one on the right hand side. My openings here. I'm going to put it here. And again, I work this way, so don't. Okay. So I'm going to go. And I'm going to put one on top, centered. Okay, so I'm going to center it between these two. And <clears throat> I work best upside down. So I'm going to go like this. And... There we go. Um, <clears throat> so it's going to look like this. Um, what you're going to have to do, um, yeah, they're all the same. See how you've got kind of a, a wow in it here? Take, take one of the pages. It doesn't matter if it's your left or your right. And just... Let's cut, let's cut an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch even. Let's cut just a wee bit off of it so that it'll sit nicely. Okay, so now it sits nicely. I cut this one. So this one sits nicely. It's not that they're too long. It's just that they're all the same length. So it gives you the wow, right? Okay. I'm going to set that aside. And you now you cut one that said page 1B. I label all mine. It's just so much easier than trying to figure it out after. That's why in your instructions I label A, B, C. I just... I find it easier to find them after they've been labeled like that. So we're taping, folding, mitering, burnishing, always the same thing. It's like a broken record, right? show you what we are doing right now with these little guys we're doing this okay we've already done this we did this okay so now we're doing this piece okay so we're going to let's see what's top and bottom here okay this was on top so let's okay now you can you can do this. Okay, it's gonna go on here. Okay.
okay it's going to go on the flap that goes up remember this is left this is right okay so we're going to put one on here on the left and we're going to put one on the right oops the other way okay now i um I corner rounded mine if you wish you can if you don't like that look you can do what you wish right it's your book so I'm gonna put it kind of centered again I don't measure I just eyeball if you want to measure you go ahead um, I tell everybody it's handmade, right? Not factory made, it's handmade. So there's gonna be little little tweaks every once in a while, and that's okay. Okay, now to make sure, I wanna make sure that these two are the same. I'm just gonna take a piece of white to, so that I can see, okay? Because I wanna make sure that it's the same that it's even with that. Okay, and okay. I'm gonna have to move it a little bit in. It's not quite even. Shoot, I don't like that. Oh, it's not actually now that it's down it's it's okay that's okay it's better than terrible Gina K would say it's better than terrible okay no that's gonna bug me sorry it's gonna bug me which one did I do first I think this no this one's nice I think it's this one maybe that's not You know what they're both they're good I'm just gonna leave it okay and we would put a magnet right here so we would set uh, what did I do with my magnets oh, okay I have a mess here because I tried to make room for seeing and now I've lost my magnets hmm Okay, I am going to be back. I will get some magnets. Okay. So, if you've done magnets before, that's great because it's really not difficult. So, I have my two magnets here. I take my score tape my Suquang, and I put just a little piece of it on the back. And I take off. And I figure out where I want it, about centered. I try not to put it too close to the edge because then it's, it's hard to, um, when you put your, your paper on, it's hard to uh it just won't lay properly and i'm just going to put a piece of sukwang on top of it to make sure it doesn't move then i put that one on i put a little piece of sukwang on this one take the paper off and close it, open it up, and I'm just gonna put a piece of Suquang on it so it doesn't go anywhere. When you put your um, paper on, your design paper on, take the, take the backing off, okay? There, page one is done. On to page two. 
again, remember, our sides are open here, right? Okay, page two. Um, you want the one that you've labeled C, and we're going to tape. Fold. And this piece goes on page two on the left. So I have page two on the left. Remember, we have an opening here, so it's going to go here. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I'm here and I'm here. There we go. And we're gonna take D, the one you labeled D, and we're going to fold. And there's a little bit of a gusset here on this one, right? Because you scored very close to each other. Okay, so there's it goes this way. Okay. You have a little a little gusset. Okay, now we're gonna take what you labeled as E and we're gonna fold it. And we're going to take what you labeled as F, this tiny little piece, and we're going to put tape on both sides of this. Okay, so here. And here. And we're going to fold with the tape out. Okay. So we're going to take one piece. So we have to put this inside here, right? Okay, because this is our booklet. So we're going to put this onto here. And then on to here. But before I'm going to miter. There we go. So I'm going to take the tape off of here. And put it so that it's... Uh, just a minute, this way. Yes. All right, so that it looks like this, okay? Like this, so we're gonna make sure that it's all the way down, like that. Okay. And Okay, now we're going to put it on here. Okay, it's open. Our little booklet's open. We want it to sit in here nicely. Just get it in there. Okay, it's nice and square and even. Close that. Oh. No wonder it didn't stick, it went back on. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and square.
Okay. There. that really well. There we go. There's our little booklet. This is going to show when you're done. And it's going to close like that. Okay. <coughs> now we have, we're going to this is page 2C. It was on top. So I'll show you what we're doing right now is Oh, we put it on. I, you know what? In my book, I put it on the left. Hmm. You do what you wish. Okay, so this is the booklet. And this is what we're doing. Now I put it on the on the top on mine. And let's see. Did I or did I put it on the left? Let's just I'm confused. Oh, I did put it on the left. Sorry. Okay, I did what my what I said in my instructions. Okay, so we're gonna open this up and we're gonna put this booklet here. Okay. Now, you can't do it yet. You have to make put your, your pattern paper on here first, okay? So if you want to, we're also going to put a magnet here and here. Um, I believe that I rounded these corners. You can do what you wish if you want. And after you've put your, your pattern paper here, then you stick it on like this. Okay? I'm not going to do it to save time. You know what to do. That's page two done. Page three. You have one that is seven and three quarters by eight and a quarter. We're going to tape. Miter, you're gonna get so tired of hearing me say tape, miter, fold, burnish. Okay. We're gonna take our page three. So the openings are on the sides, and we're gonna put it, attach it on the top. this here out make sure this is even and then down burnish it there we go okay then we have <clears throat> one that's three a oh, page three sorry it's yeah it's three by eight and three quarters we have to tape. Miter. Ah, we tape on both sides. Okay. We're going to miter. believe we're making a pocket. Okay. Now we're going to, because it's a pocket, 
we can't we have to close off the bottom right so I use I don't know if this is I think it's five millimeter and I put it along the bottom on the inside of what will be the inside of the pocket okay and it'll keep the pocket closed all right so we're going to put this pocket our flaps on top we're going to put this at the bottom okay so take off one side we'll take off the bottom And we'll attach, it's going to go all along the bottom. Ooh, it feels like I'm stuck already. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Page three also has the waterfall. Okay, so you should have, you made four of I. I'm just going to leave them alone. You made one of J, which you put, you made these score lines. We're going to put tape on each of these. Okay. So this one on each of the spaces between your score lines. Of these okay so let's see this is a tricky one but I think we can do it um, okay so we're going to put okay so we're starting at the bottom so starting at the bottom Attach a square piece on the, attach a square piece to on the long piece. So all of the, this is what I mean by this long piece, okay? So we're going to take this, and we're going to put these on here. Okay, and we're going to keep going. To make sure that we're even, we're going to make sure that this is even with our other one. Okay, so you don't, you want to make sure they're all even. Okay. Hope I'm not leading you astray here. It's a, it's, a, it's easy, but it's tricky. I don't know. Oops. Go and the last one. Okay, you've got them all on here now. Hmm. I think we're okay. I'm just gonna 
fold in this tape. Okay. If you want to, you can corner round again, up to you. Now we're going to take K and K is going to be sitting like this. Okay. And <clears throat> so we're going to want to cover, you're going to want to take your, your paper and cover this piece, okay? And you're going to want to cover this piece before, before you uh, put it on your paper, on your, in your book, okay? Um, I said you could add brads here too to make sure that it stays on but I didn't and I'm not having any trouble so they they you know you can if you want I figured you know maybe some people would want to just to add decoration to I didn't um and I I'm not having any trouble okay so what you're what we're going to do now is we're going to after you've put in this nice paper onto this little piece, we're going to tape this, adhere this piece onto this one. Okay? So I'm not going to bother putting, putting nice paper on. So I'm going to figure out, okay, so... I'm a little short. Hmm, what happened here? Because I have to be able to pull this through here. Hmm, okay, so I'm gonna go like about this, about what, an inch from the bottom? And I'm going to tape this one onto that one. Okay, so I'm going to, let's see, where is it going to go? About here. I'm going to tape that there. I'll put a couple. doesn't matter. I'm not very straight here, but it won't matter. Okay. And I take these off. And I'm going to want this. I'm going to have now this you want to make sure again. I just eyeball. If you want to measure, please go for it. Okay. There. Now, when I pull on this one's going to be down here. And when I pull on this, it's all going to open. Okay. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it on top of our big flap here okay and I am going to now you don't want to put you have you can only put tape on the edges right this you can't put tape on this piece so let's put tape here Okay, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss. Here we go. I'll just cut this off. Okay, let's try that again. All right. Tape here, I'll just bind it onto itself. There we go. Come on. Okay. 
Okay. Now you can put this anywhere you wish on the page, but I kind of centered mine, or you could put it lower to the bottom. And there. Up to you. You can put it higher up if you wish. And so you might want to put a little um, little tag. Okay, you could put a little tag on here on your last one and have it so that you could pull it. Okay. After you've done it a few times, it'll go better. It's kind of, mine is kind of catching on something. I'm not sure what. Okay. But yes, I would put a little tag down here. Okay, page three is done. On to page four. Page four, you have one that's eight and a half by, by eight and three quarters. You've already scored it. Your score lines are right in the middle and then a half inch on each side, right? Okay, what you're going to do is you are going to fold and burnish everything. Okay, we're going to fold and burnish. Fold and burnish. Okay, now we are doing, I'll show you what we're doing. We are doing this piece right now. Okay, so in order to do that, we are going to cut this off. Okay, so we're going to cut cut right along the score line and we're going to cut this piece off. Okay. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So this is going to become that flap, okay? And I'm just gonna push, put these, I'm going to miter these corners on the other side. And I'm gonna tape. You could have taped and then mitered after. All goes the same, okay? Having tape problems here. There we go. All right. So we're going to take our page four and remember, look on page three. It this is this is the. Did I make a mistake? Oh. I did. Did I? Page th ah. Page three. Okay, let me just look at this here. Okay, 
page three has a pocket and this. Got it. And this, I put the wrong way. It should be here. That is not good. Well, I'm going to show you how to use undo. My favoritest, my most favorite. If you have never used undo, you must. Okay, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put my... Looks like it's get, it is getting wet with my undo. There. Notice how the tape is still good. I can still use the tape. I just simply picked it up. Okay, so don't do my mistake. So on page three, Okay, on page three, you put this piece here and we put a pocket on the inside. Perfect. Now we put our waterfall this way. Okay. There. Oh, and you can stick them right back on, right? See? I, I just love undo. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's three. I'm going to turn it to four. We haven't done anything to four yet. We're going to put this here on the left-hand side. Okay, opening is here. Where is it? Okay, opening is right here. So we're gonna put this on the left-hand side with the opening like this, okay? So. Um, it's a pocket, this is going to be a pocket as well. So we need to put tape along here. I really know what I'm doing. It just doesn't look like it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put tape along here because this is going to be a pocket and we don't want things to run through it. Right? There. Oh, okay. is the opening. This is where we want this to go. Okay, so we're going to put it along the edge. There we go, along here. And have our pocket and we also have pocket and we also have a flap okay beautiful and that is four four is finished <clears throat> okay so now we're on five so you've got one piece. Oh, sorry, this M. Oh yeah, forgot about M. M, we still have to add to page four. It's another large, nice large pocket. Go tape miter. Oh, 
gold and burnish. And come back here for. And we're going to put it, we have this pocket here. So we want to put this large flap on this side. Okay, across, across from our flap here. Lots of flips and flaps. Okay, I'm just going to turn it upside down because that's how I work best. That's page four done. Now I can go to page five. N, you've cut N and you've scored it. And we're gonna tape it. I'm gonna take O at the same time. Let's do O at the same time and We'll tape it. Another thing you can do that I often do is um, I take them all, all my pieces, I score them, and I tape them all, and then I put them together. You've, it's just another way. Instead of doing each one individually, I do them all at the same time, come back, and then I put the book together. Okay, so we have N and O. I'm just going to pull out the book to show you what we're doing. We are doing this. Okay, so what we're doing are these two flaps here. Okay. So we're taking page five. Making sure that our openings are left and right. Don't make the mistake I did. Um, these are not quite the same, right? One's bigger than the other. Um, you might want to put the smaller one at the bottom. Up to you. But they go on like this. So one goes at the bottom, along the bottom edge. So we go like this. Like that. And the other one will go at the top. And I'm going to flip it just for my sake. Oops, I'm going to make sure that this side is even. There we go. So we have a nice, two nice little flaps. Now, this is where we're going to have to put our pretty paper on it first, on here and on here. Once you've done that, then you can put your brads. I put my brads, you know, centered like this, about, I don't know, an inch away from each other. If you want it further away, that's okay. See how I did it? Okay. And I rounded my corners. I thought it looked prettier. Put your brads in and then you can just put um, I used thread here kind of an embroidery thread but um, you can use whatever you have at home right I had this color it thought it looked nice that's what I used and after you've put your brads in then you can do the second one right okay 
So I'm not going to take the time to put the brads in. You know how to do that. You can do that easily. All right. Um, okay. And is, that's it? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, page five. Oh, uh huh. Oh, P. Yes. P. There's three of them. There we go. That's what I was worried about. It's like, why, why aren't we? These are our waterfall pages, waterfall flaps. Okay. So we're going to tape. That was really taped very poorly. Not straight at all. Okay, and we don't miter the edges when or the corners when we're doing um, a waterfall because it looks nicer if you don't. So we're going to take our page five, or, or sorry, our page, yeah, page five. You're going to put your pretty paper on here, okay? It's much easier to put your nice paper on first, and then you're going to, I put mine on the left. So I went along, and I did, made sure that it was maybe at, an eighth of an inch away from here and I went with the edge okay so I put one there and then right underneath it I put the next one right tight against it not on the flap but tied up against it like that okay and then I did the last one there's only three of them it's a very small one so it goes like that on here, okay? You could put in your waterfall before you put your paper on and just put a piece here and a piece there. Well, actually, you'd have to put a piece, you know, a little bit higher. It's way easier. Just put your pot paper on, then put your waterfall on. Much, much easier. And page five is done then, okay? Page six, we have a Q and we have an R and an S, I believe. The R, there's two of them, and an S, there's one. So let's tape. We'll tape them all at the same time. That's S. And R. And R. And Q. Okay. Q has has a gusset, right? So we're gonna fold first. Let's fold first on the half inch one. And then we're gonna fold on the three quarter inch one. And there's a gusset just to give you more room for pictures, right? We're gonna miter, but only miter the uh, taped, taped corner or tape piece. Okay. Perfect. 
it's all ready. Okay, page six. Look, just put those in there. Okay, so again, make sure, don't make the mistake I did there. Make sure that left and right are open. And you're going to take Q and we're going to trim about a quarter of an inch off the edge here just, just to give us a little bit of room okay so take and just trim that corner that edge off there now we're going to take it and we're going to attach it to the bottom of page six so it's going to attach here okay so we're going to make sure that our bottom and our sides are good. I'm stuck to the tape. Let's see here. Let's try that again. A little bit harder because you've got that. There we go. I think that's good. Okay. So you've got your gusset here. Okay. We're going to take R. Show you what we're doing. What are we doing? We are doing this. Okay, so you have this, this, and it's all on this page here, okay? So there's one on the left, there's one on the, one on the right, one on the left, and there's one at the bottom, okay? Now, you could put this at the top, too, if you wished, if you didn't like it at the bottom, okay? So that's what we're doing, putting all those on there. So we're going to put... Our R's go on the left and right. On our flap. And we're going to just eyeball again. If you are not an eyeballer, then please feel free to measure. And we're going to take our other R. And we're going to make sure, I'm just going to kind of put, slide it on it, because I want to make sure that they're both, you know, even, right? That they're both go one onto each other nicely. And I'm going to make sure that I'm on my... Okay, come on. Come on over. So we have, oh no, <laughs> oh boy, don't do as I do. I didn't mean to put it on there, but you know what? Now you know how to use undo if you never knew before. Okay, don't put, don't put it on there, put it underneath it. Let's try that again. Okay. I always say that I, I use undo at least once and already twice on in this album, but at least once every album. Okay, those are ours. And now we need to put our S in and I wrote the instructions so that you put it down here. Not on the three quarter inch, but just above the three quarter inch. Okay. If you want, you can put it on top. Let's do it as I wrote it. Oops, sorry about that. 
hit my head there. Okay, it's got to go, but I think we're going to be too far up. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. And I eyeball, I eyeball center. Okay. There we go. We've got page six done. All right. Okay. I just put my finger in my glasses. Page seven. Now, page seven is another little booklet. So we have you and T and you, right? So we're going to fold and burnish and fold and burnish. We're going to tape on both sides of this. Both sides of T. Okay, we're going to fold that with these guys out. And what we're going to do is we're going to put these two together to make a booklet, okay? So we're going to miter first here. So we're going to put, <clears throat> going to put one on here like this. And then we'll put the other one on top of it. Okay. Okay. Oops. I'm going to take this one off. Come on. again and I put there and we have our booklet okay and it's gonna go on page seven okay so it's gonna go here you are going to cover page seven with your pattern paper and then you will adhere the booklet to it okay so first you have to cover it with with paper and then you put this on okay that's page seven page seven is an easy one easy quick page eight Page eight, you have one that you labeled V, and it's a pocket. So let's start by putting tape on the four sides. Or, pardon me, three sides, not four. don't want all of this we're going to cut right there right where the two join we're going to cut that all off there now we're going to take this piece and we're going to measure three inches from the top so <clears throat> we're measuring three inches from the top and I'm going to put a mark here 
one, right? Seems like a lot. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, where are we? Measure and mark three inches from top right. Oh, sorry. Top right, three inches. Top left. <clears throat> and one and seven eighths from top left. So I don't know if your instructions are right, but when you're on page eight, um, it says V1, blah, 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 score on, blah, blah, score on, blah, blah, at a half and eight and a quarter. Measure and mark three inches from top right. Change that left to right if yours says right, uh, left. And one and seven eighths from top left side. If you do it the other way around, that's okay. It would just be opposite to the way that I have it uh, made. And go in two and a half inches. So I'm going to follow that and to it mark two and a half inches on the left here. And we're going to join those two and join this. Okay. And we're going to cut that off. So I'm going to use my straight or my blade here and I'm going to cut up to that point and then I will cut off here. So we have this. Okay, I'll show you what the book looks like. This is what we're making, is this pocket here, okay? So now we're going to fold and finish. And we're going to put it on our page eight. Let's start on the left. And now everything else should just fall into place. Fold that down, and this goes down. So you have your pocket. And we don't, don't need to worry about putting your pretty paper on first. Just, you're going to tuck it in into here. Okay? So that's V. You now have a W that looks like this. And you probably, yes, you have an X. Hmm. Oh, I made two of them, but I don't know why. Okay, so you have an, a W and an X. On your W, we are just easy peasy. We're going to tape. Bend and burnish. And it's going to go on our pocket, on top of the pocket, like this. Okay? It's hard to tell black on black, but so. to make 
make sure that it sits nicely. There. Okay, that's done. And then we're going to take our X. <clears throat> now we're going to measure and mark. So both on both sides, uh, measure and mark one inch from both sides of one long end. Okay. So this end that's not scored. That's not scored. So what did it say? Uh, measure. Oh, on the sides. Sorry. One inch. Okay, I'm gonna go for the unscored side. One inch from the unscored side. One inch. And then measure the center on the long side. And three and seven eighths, I believe, is what it is. Okay, we're gonna join these two. going to make what looks like an envelope. Okay, so cut this. I'm going to use my my cutter. You can use scissors if you want. I find I don't do as well with scissors. And Now you have what looks like a pocket. We're gonna, gonna tape this. And we're gonna lighter. We're gonna fold. And it is going to go right onto the pocket, okay? It's going to look like this, right? It's going to go like this. So I'll show you with it. So you, you put it on this piece, okay? You don't put it on your flap. You put it on the piece, on the pocket, actually. But you put it nice and snug against this so that it looks like an envelope. Okay, so let's take one piece off on the side. And I'm going to snug it here. I'm going to make sure it's nice and tight and the envelope goes down. And ta-da, you now have an envelope. And to keep the envelope closed, we're gonna put a magnet there and there, and it keeps it closed nicely. Okay, page eight done. Okay, did we forget to do page seven? Let's see. Oh no, page seven is here. Like this. Yes. There we go. Okay, page seven, page eight. Now, <clears throat> we are on our inside covers. So the front inside cover. What we have is a pocket, a nice big pocket to put extra pictures, memor excuse me, memorabilia. Um, maybe you wanting, you're not wanting to remember a beautiful life. Maybe you're wanting to remember um, a trip you had. Okay, so it's memorabilia. So, 
same thing it's a pocket so we are going to tape it And we're going to miter. going to put this right here okay just maybe a quarter inch not even an eighth of an inch up okay but this is too hard to do we want to um, mark three inches from top left here we go again really from the top left I think I did quite three inches. Let's see, what does it say? Uh, from top left and three inches from bottom right. Hmm. Okay, so three inches from bottom right. Goes here. And three inches from bottom left, hey? Hmm, that's a lot. I think, you know, what do you think? I think an inch and a half. I think three inches is too much. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I obviously didn't do that with, for my book. So we're gonna cut that off. It's, it's really, you know, whatever you like as, a, as an angle. There. It's gonna be a bit different than the one than in my book. But, hey, that doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, I see. I I didn't do it all in an angle like this. I did mine uh, like this. Aha. Uh -huh. So, let's see. Measure a mark and mark three inches from top left. Oh, three inches in and three inches up. Yes. It's, yes, so this is not right. Three inches from the bottom is right. But this is what mine is. So if you want to make yours perfect, or not perfect, but like my instructions, mark three inches from the left, in from the left. Okay. I'm going to put mine in like this. Doesn't matter that it's not the same as my other one. Just start by putting the bottom on. And then the inside. And this side. There. And you can slide. Slide your memorabilia in here. Okay. Now, the back. The back has... has a um, a tuck spot. So we're gonna use this as our tuck spot. We're going to tape a 
belly band or tape our belly band so that we can tuck things in. And you don't have to put your paper in first. You can slide. You can slide your uh, pattern paper in underneath it. I always do, and it works very well. Come on. There go. <clears throat> and I'm gonna just again eyeball. It doesn't have to be perfect it's whatever you wish in about an eighth of an inch I believe and sorry hmm not quite but that's good okay now we have one more piece and that's our flap I did not put a magnet in mine. Um, if you put a lot in your belly band, you might want to put, um, you might want to put a magnet on here to keep it closed to keep, so that you, nothing falls out of your belly band. If you don't put much in, I think you wouldn't need one. but. around at the corners, whatever you wish. And we are almost done. We're gonna start, uh, let's start with our last page. So this is page eight. It's gonna go on this hinge, right? Now, to make it easier and to give you, oh, I should have, uh, dry fit it first hang on let's see let's check to make sure that it fits nicely first okay why is it not going down there we go okay so yep it goes in nicely so i'm going to take the paper off both sides and I'm going to add some glue some wet glue just okay come on no my wet glue is stuck okay I'll try this one I'm just putting a bead of it, right? Just enough so that I've got some wiggle room because Su Quang, once, this, once you're on it, you're on it, right? You saw that with my many mistakes. Okay, so I wanna make sure page seven is this way. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this. We're gonna stick this on. And you don't want to go all the way down because you want to be able to put your pages down, right? So you want to leave, you know, about, I don't know, is that an eighth of an inch? You want to leave some, some, um, some room so that you can lay it down. If you go all the way down to the bottom, you won't be able to lay your pages down. Okay, that is page seven, eight. 
That goes with seven. This is page, just want to make sure. So this is page one. Well, I don't want page one. I want page six. There we go. Six and seven. Oh, that's five. Okay, five and six. So we put five on top. Um, I'm just going to put those out of the way for now. Let's see if it's going to fit right. Yep. They should, but I always check in case I didn't do something right. And a bead of glue. Okay, again, six is here, five is in front. There we go. Now, that should be good. Beautiful. Now, three, four. This should be three, I believe. I believe, yes, this is three. So, what, three, four. Good. And it should be one and two. It's the only one I have left. And there's my. Sometimes, if you have to, you want to do this if it's if it doesn't go on nicely. Let's just make sure we're there. Um, okay. There we go. And our book is done. So this is what it should look like. Like that. So that is the eight, oops, eight by eight with the simple stories remember paper. Thanks for watching. Good luck with yours.